Hey Aquarius, this is Lisa with Heart of Inspiration and I am here for your July 2020 monthly reading. Yeah, um, so this is cancer season. Lots of feelings going on, isn't it Aquarius? <laughs> Lots going on. Um, you just literally had, at the time of this recording on July the 6th, you just recently had Saturn leave its second home and enter into Capricorn in retrograde, um, giving us, lending its assistance, if you will, to Pluto and Jupiter that are conjuncted in retrograde as well in Capricorn. And, and it's a kind of a doozy, isn't it? Um, it is a lot of redressing some old wounds, redressing some things that we were supposed to maybe change, um, the things we have begun to change structurally in our lives and how we relate to the world and how the world, we allow the world to relate to us and, and our own personal power and all of that. All of this is coming into play and uh, we're having a chance to kind of look at new things and all this while you're like hey uh we're getting ready to enter into my age right of um higher thought technology higher learning um a collect a collective consciousness that is less um it, it is really the individual and the collective uh, how the individual relates to the collective as well um so there's a lot of rapid change going on and a lot of kind of revolution and evolution happening so aquarius because it is cancer month and we've got to deal with our heart home mm -hmm. we got to deal with our heart we're going to be using the love your inner goddess oracle deck first to get some insights so we're going to pick three oracle cards this is for aquarius sun moon and rising for aquarius sun moon and rising so can i have three cards please for aquarius sun moon and rising aquarius sun moon okay great so i didn't want them upside down okay sun moon and rising aquarius sun moon and rising Aquarius, sun, moon, and rising, please. Oh, okay. Hey, hey, yo. Oh, I like these cards. Okay. So first we have Psyche. We're going to read that. First we have Psyche. Second we have Bright Destiny. It became a butterfly. And all around this, this is just when the caterpillar thought the world was over, it became a butterfly. So just when the caterpillar thought the world was over, it became a butterfly. And then we have warrior goddess. We are all made of stars. Okay. I'm going to look at these and we might read some, we might not. The first card here, Psyche, the, your, your Psyche's coming under a lot of stress and strain, isn't it? As is the whole entire collective. Uh, it's not anything unusual. The issue at hand, though, it appears to me, is that it's hard to make sense of all that's happening right now all around the globe because it's like we can trust nothing we see with our third dimensional eyes. Nothing we hear with our third dimensional ears and um, it's hard, right? It's difficult because we've got all of this information trying to come in and reformulate us on the inside. Yet, we have this intuitive knowledge that for the most part, no one's telling the complete truth, are they? So it feels like, you know, your mind is in this space where it doesn't quite know which way to turn. And if you're not accustomed to listening to your higher self and being guided that way, and even if you are, 
Your mind can play tricks on you right now. The key for you in your personal life that I'm, what I'm hearing and the collective, because you have to take care of your individual first. I know there's a lot of things that you want to see change. A lot of us do. Um, most of us do. But we, we're powerless in a certain extent, in, the, in, in one extent to change it on a global scale. And yet we have all the power in the world. Because when we change our individual self, we then change the global self. So the key for me here is to calm the mind through meditation and lean on your higher self, lean on your spirit guides, lean on, lean on your soul, Lean on the soul contract that you wrote when you came here, that you agreed to. Um, and know that your purpose is going to be fulfilled just when the caterpillar thought the world was over, just when everything was crashing down around them, just when it was like, I don't know where to turn. I'm so confused. I, I, I thought I knew the path. I thought I knew which way I was supposed to go. And every time I take a step, it's like I can see some of you every time you take a step in a direction that you think is a good one, it seems like the door slams shut or you've had to make decisions and do things that you never thought you'd have to do or you didn't think you'd be in this position again. So just when you thought the world was over as the caterpillar, all of a sudden you bloom and blossom as the butterfly, and not only as the butterfly, but the warrior goddess butterfly. You have to remember you're from the stars. You have to remember Aquarius that you are divine. You in and of yourself are gods and goddesses. You possess within you, all of us do, divine masculine and feminine to create. We are co-creators with source. We are not victims, but we are victors. This psyche card is really, let me see what number she is, 37. The psyche card is really interesting. I feel like that's going to be the key for everything. You're going to find the exact help you need at the exact times you need it. You have the ability to attract resources and even to create something out of apparently nothing. Don't put your focus or your faith in the material world and its seemingly endless obstacles and difficulties. Direct your attention and your trust towards our all-powerful and unconditionally loving universe, which is your friend and teacher. When you do this, you empower the universe to help you, and it really wants to in the most amazing ways. Your, all this information, again, things that are coming into your being and trying to reform you, is third-dimensional falseness. Now, while there is a sense of reality of it in it, because it is in the third dimensional, and this is where spiritual beings having a third dimensional incarnate, incarnate experience, it is temporal. Your spirit is eternal, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Never forget that. Never forget that. Yes, there are obstacles. Yes, there are things that have been thrown up in your, in your path. Yes, there are issues. Yes, you did not expect to have to be in the position that you're in. And yes, you may have done some missteps, but they are not irredeemable. The world is not over. You yet have an opportunity to turn into the butterfly that you are meant to turn into. Press down, shaking together, running, runneth over, right? When you get pressed, that's the time you're to rise. 
And you got to come out swinging with this warrior goddess. You have to remember who you are. You're a child of Saturn and a child of Uranus. Both some of the original in myth mythology, original, original gods, right? Uranus, the creator of all Kronos time. Well, if you're the child, if you will, or you're from Uranus, and at the same time from Saturn, don't you then in essence own or control, if you will, how long it takes for something to be created because you control time and creation. That's a very empowering way to think of things, isn't it? You control time and creation. Now, you control, we all control time to an extent, but understanding that time is not your enemy and that you can supersede time through your faith, your heart chakra, the energy you put out, and changing your psyche to understanding who you truly are and coming out swinging instead of laying down, being defeated, right? So that's the goal this month, is to go to your heart space and find that very powerful creative energy and emit it out, emote it, energy in motion, emotion, send it out into the universe and don't worry about the transcendent, transcendence of time nor space because in all actuality, my dear one, you get to choose how long it's going to take for it to come to you to some extent because if you don't set your mind in one space, if you don't through the washing of your, the renewing of your mind through the washing of your word, and change your psyche, you can't change your world. Okay, now we're going to pull some tarot to just kind of further solidify and clarify this. But first, there is a brief commercial that I want you guys to watch. Just give us just a few seconds. Here you go. Welcome back. All right, let's pull some tarot. <laughs> it doesn't get much more plain than this. Holy cats. One more, please. Yeah. Listen, clarifying psyche. Oops, here we go is eight of swords you are trapped in your own mind but i really feel like you're very strongly that you're about to come out of this trap you're going to see that you've laid your own trap okay you're gonna you're seeing that you've laid your own trap you've created your own world but you can get out of this and you can recreate it it doesn't have to be the way that it is right now you can with the four of wands go on and live your best life and live your life of purpose you can move into entire celebration with the three of cups and you're going to begin to see as you do this and and really hold on to the belief and really hold on to the knowledge and really hold on to the understanding you're going to begin to see be patient have patience with yourself you've been waiting and waiting and waiting and now it's time to act so you're going to see little glimpses and glimmers not enough to 
push you in, into motion to continue on. The two of pentacles is for the, um, the butterfly here. So listen, you've got to get into balance. Balance those emotions out. Get grounded. You know, I know you're air, but you got to get grounded here because you're going through this tower moment. Everything that is shaking can be, sh that will be shaken, that can be shaken is being shaken at this moment in time. Okay? This is death. You have to let... <laughs> You got to transform. You have to allow yourself to transform. Allow the old you to die so the new you can live. That's going to hit somebody. Allow the old you to die so the new you can live. Stop walking around hat in hand, begging and wanting in to some mythological group when you are the group. Okay? Again, here we go, Justice. You have to find balance. Stop putting more into something than you are getting out. Stop expecting more out of someone than what they're putting in. It must be balanced. Now, for some of you that might be facing some sort of legal battle, um, once you released and relinquished control over the situation as far as trying to like maneuver and manipulate everything and just set your intentions to this is the outcome then i see it going in your favor it will not go in your favor moment beforehand though you're too busy trying to control things and you're trapped in your own mind that's not for everybody that's for, just for some of you sun moon and rising aquarians now warrior goddess we also have the knight of wands so what i'm hearing spirits say is uh you know you're going to be have to be moving with the quickness here why can't i find the here it is you need not you when when you finally decide this month to move the way spirit wants you to move you're not going to be stoppable you're going to some of you may travel a little bit but i feel like you are literally leaving all of this drama and you're going to peace you're leaving old thoughts behind and carrying the good thoughts with you um brand new page of wands inspiration as well as messages of inspiration messages of support messages of encouragement coming towards you we're ending this cycle where words are just stabbing you in the back people are gossiping people are trying to hurt you and tear you down and this is your time to stay planted and stay grounded you gotta you gotta see this through this queen of pentacles doesn't become a butterfly overnight right and every seed must die before it actually lives so i need you to hang in there could be a virgo that's assisting you but i need you to hang in there and i need you to see this thing through and I need you to understand all is not lost. And stop listening to everybody around you that's telling you it is. I love y'all. Very much so. Listen, Aquarius, you could do this. We can get through this together. Now, um, you did see in the commercial, I am having a cord cutting ceremony, service, session, service, whatever you want to call it, this Saturday, July 11th. Um, at the time of this recording, this is on happening on Saturday, July 11th. Go to my website, heartofinspiration.net, um, and it, the the sign up you see right there where you're supposed to click to go and sign up for this. Um, it is forty-seven dollars. We will be together for an hour. Uh, typically, if we we're going to do this on an individual basis, it'd be one hundred and fifty bucks. So we're doing it for forty-seven dollars because I want to make it affordable for everyone to be able to get in there. If you're tied to someone's soul ties, other t types of ties, and you need to cut the cords and you just can't seem to on your own, this is the space for you. It is limited. Space is limited. So do sign up immediately. And uh, let's, get, let's get free. Let's get free. That's my whole goal on this. All right? All right, Aquarius, peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. Thank you so much for liking, subscribing, and sharing this video. I so very much appreciate you, okay? And I want you to take care of yourselves. I love you so much. Namaste. Bye-bye.